The 24 Spiritual Books That Changed My Life Written by Kelvin W. Nathan Published by Audiobooks Office Introduction Just as a caterpillar develops into a butterfly, spiritual books have a way of reshaping our perceptions and metamorphosing our lives. You've likely experienced the profound impact of a well-crafted narrative, a poignant insight, or an enlightening teaching. Let's embark on a journey through the pages that have altered my life's course. From The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho to The Power of Intention by Wayne Dyer, these tomes have left indelible marks on my soul. For more information about the ebook version of this audio, visit audiobooksoffice.com. We notice that 78% of you who listen to our video are not yet subscribed to the channel. Please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and like the video. Thanks for inspiring us to create more content for you. Are you ready to explore the transformative power of these literary gems and perhaps discover your own life-altering read? Book number one. The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Looking into The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho, you'll embark on a journey of spiritual enlightenment that has the potential to profoundly transform your perspective on life. This isn't just a book, it's an experience, an invitation to examine your own heart's desires and to trust in your personal legend or purpose. At its center, The Alchemist tells the narrative of Santiago, a young shepherd who dreams of a wealth hidden in the Egyptian pyramids. The treasure, however, isn't just physical, it's also symbolic, representing Santiago's personal legend and his life's purpose. This is where you'll start to reflect. What's your personal legend? Are you pursuing it? As you journey with Santiago, you'll meet a series of characters that impart invaluable life lessons, encouraging you to listen to your heart and trust in the universe's signs. Santiago's journey, like yours, isn't straightforward. There are setbacks, doubts, and fears, but there's also resilience, wisdom, and courage. Coelho's exquisite storytelling will make you feel each emotion, each setback, and each triumph as if they were your own. This empathy allows you to connect with Santiago on a deep level, fostering a sense of common humanity. It's this connection that makes the book's spiritual teachings so impactful. In The Alchemist, you'll find a mirror, reflecting your own fears, dreams, and potential. It's a reminder that life is a journey, not a destination, and that the real treasure resides within us. It's a call to listen to your heart, pursue your dreams, and trust in the universe. It's an invitation to rediscover your own spiritual path. Book number two, The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. Turning the page to The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz, you're invited into a transformative exploration of personal freedom, one that's as profound as it's practical. This isn't just a book, it's a journey into self-awareness, offering a roadmap to a life less burdened by societal and self-imposed limitations. The four agreements themselves, be impeccable with your word, don't take anything personally, don't make assumptions, and always do your best, might appear simple at first glance. Yet, as you delve deeper, you'll find each one is a powerful call to self-empowerment, anchored in respect for oneself and others. Ruiz's insightful analysis of the impact of our words, the destructive power of assumptions, and the freedom found in not taking things personally provokes a profound shift in perspective. You're encouraged to challenge long-held beliefs, question societal norms, and tear down the barriers that confine your authenticity. The empathetic tone of the book resonates with your struggles. Ruiz understands the pressures of societal expectations and self-criticism, offering not just sympathy, but a toolbox of practical solutions. He doesn't merely highlight the issues, he provides a clear pathway towards resolution. The Four Agreements isn't just a read, it's an experience. It's a call to break the chains of conformity and embrace the freedom of authenticity. As you progress through each agreement, you're equipped with the tools to cultivate a life of peace, freedom, and personal power. This book isn't about changing who you are, it's about revealing the best version of you. Book number three, 
Insights from the Power of Now Shifting gears from the empowering guidelines of the Four Agreements, let's explore the profound wisdom embedded in Eckhart Tolle's masterpiece, The Power of Now. This book offers a different perspective on time and consciousness, urging you to live in the present moment, which is all that truly exists. Tolle's central argument is that your mind, particularly your obsession with the past and future, is a major source of stress and anxiety. He suggests that by focusing on the now, you can find authentic peace and happiness. This seems simple, yet it's challenging. You're often entangled in the web of your thoughts, regrets, and plans. But when you immerse yourself in the present, you're not just alive, you're truly living. The power of now also underscores the importance of surrendering to what is. Resisting the present moment, according to Tull, leads to suffering. By accepting what's happening now without adding a narrative to it or wishing it were different, you'll find inner peace. This doesn't mean you should resign yourself to circumstances you can change. Rather, it's about embracing the present as it is and then acting from a place of acceptance, not resistance. In your journey towards spiritual enlightenment, the power of now guides you to detach from your thinking mind and discover the deep sense of self-rooted in being, not thinking. It's not an easy journey, but the rewards inner peace, happiness, and a profound connection to life are worth it. Book number four, Celestine Prophecy and Synchronicity. As you journey further into the realm of spiritual literature, the Celestine Prophecy offers a captivating exploration of synchronicity, inviting you to perceive coincidences as meaningful aspects of your spiritual journey. The author of this book, James Redfield, presents a viewpoint that exhorts you to see life's seemingly random events as connected pieces of a divine puzzle. The Celestine Prophecy doesn't merely offer a fresh take on spirituality, it's a guide that provides tangible ways to recognize and interpret these synchronicities. It encourages you to stay alert, to question, and to delve deeper into the nuances of your experiences. The book's central theme is that there's a mysterious yet powerful energy field that connects all beings and events. It suggests that by tapping into this energy, you can harness the power of these synchronicities to navigate your life path. But how exactly does it shape your spiritual journey? It provides an understanding that things don't just happen. The chance encounters, the unexpected opportunities, they all carry a purpose, a message. It's like a cosmic GPS, steering you towards growth and evolution. Empathy is another key aspect emphasized in this book. It posits that by connecting empathetically with others, you not only enhance your own spiritual growth, but also contribute to a collective rise in consciousness. In essence, the Celestine prophecy nudges you to view life through a lens of interconnectedness and purpose. It's an enlightening red that challenges you to shift your perspective, urging you to see the extraordinary in the ordinary. Book number five, Seven Spiritual Laws of Success Overview. Building on the theme of interconnectedness and purpose, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success by Deepak Chopra introduces you to a set of universal principles that, when understood and applied, can steer you towards a life of success and fulfillment. This book doesn't advocate for material success alone, but emphasizes achieving balance in all areas of your life. The first law, the law of pure potentiality, urges you to tap into the infinite potential that you possess. It's about recognizing and nurturing your unique capabilities. The law of giving encourages you to give what you seek, fostering a mindset of abundance and gratitude. The law of karma pushes you to become conscious of your actions, understanding that each action produces a reaction. The law of least effort suggests that you can accomplish more by doing less, by flowing with life rather than against it. The law of intention and desire compels you to clarify your intentions and channel your desires effectively. The law of detachment promotes emotional detachment from outcomes, thereby allowing you to stay open to the infinite possibilities. Finally, the law of Dharma prompts you to discover your purpose in life and use your unique talents to serve others. Chopra's seven laws aren't just rules to follow, they are a roadmap to a fulfilling life. 
They're about aligning with the universe's flow and understanding the deeper dynamics of life and success. But remember, it's not about rigid adherence, but about understanding and internalizing these principles in your daily life. This book might just change your perspective on success and bring you closer to a life of balance and fulfillment. Book number six, Be Here Now, Ram Das. Diving into the realm of mindfulness and spiritual awakening, Be Here Now by Ram Das presents a transformational journey that encourages you to live fully in the present moment. The book encourages you to break free from the bonds of past regrets and future concerns. It tells you that life is happening right now, and if you're not present, you're missing it. In Be Here Now, Ram Das, formerly known as Richard Alpert, narrates his spiritual journey from being a Harvard psychologist and psychedelic pioneer to a follower of Eastern spiritual traditions. He shares his experiences with yoga and meditation, teaching you how to achieve a state of mindfulness that allows you to live fully in each moment. The book's appeal lies in its simplicity. It doesn't overcomplicate spirituality. Instead, it gives you the tools you need to experience life more fully, more joyfully. It's not about adopting a new religion or philosophy. It's about recognizing that you're part of a greater whole, and the present moment is your only true point of contact with life. Be Here Now has the power to change your perspective on life, making you more attuned to your inner self and the world around you. It's a book that promotes self-discovery and self-acceptance, helping you understand that your journey isn't about becoming something new, but about coming home to who you truly are. Reading it can be a life-altering experience, one that opens your eyes to the beauty of living in the now. Book number seven, Autobiography of a Yogi by Paramahansa Yogananda. Shifting our focus to another influential spiritual read, let's explore Autobiography of a Yogi by Paramahansa Yogananda. This transforming book introduces readers to the ancient discipline of yoga and its time-honored tradition of meditation. In the pages of this book, you're invited on a journey through Yogananda's life, from his early years in India to his time in America, teaching others about the path to self-realization. You'll find yourself captivated by the account of his encounters with spiritual figures from both the East and West. Yogananda's teachings are profoundly insightful, offering you a deeper understanding of the mystical realms of existence. His narrative is filled with fascinating stories about miracles, yogic feats, and divine intervention. Yet, it's his description of the spiritual path that will truly resonate with you. It's an invitation to explore your own spiritual potential, to delve deep into your own consciousness, and to discover the divine within. His message is timeless, and it's as relevant today as it was when he penned it in 1946. He speaks of unity, peace, and the realization of the divine within us all. He emphasizes the importance of meditation for achieving inner peace and for realizing the oneness of all existence. Reading Autobiography of a Yogi isn't just about understanding Yogananda's journey. It's about embarking on your own spiritual journey. It's about embracing the possibility that you, too can attain a state of self-realization and experience the divine joy that comes with it. It's a spiritual treasure that can truly change your life. Book number eight, The Prophet Khalil Gibran. In the realm of spiritual literature, the Prophet by Khalil Gibran holds a unique position, offering profound wisdom and soul-stirring insights that can lead you on a transformative journey of self-discovery. The book consists of 26 poetry essays that explore various elements of human existence, including love, joy, sadness, freedom, and death, to name a few. You'll find yourself transported into the spiritual world of Al-Mustafa, the story's protagonist, as he navigates these universal themes. Gibran's masterful blend of poetic prose and philosophical musings invites you into a space of deep reflection. His words gently guide you towards an understanding of life's complexities, encouraging you to uncover your own truths. It's not a book you just read, it's a book you experience. Each time you delve into the prophet, you'll likely discover different layers of truth, depending on where you're in your life journey. 
Its timeless wisdom resonates across generations, cultures, and individual experiences, making it a spiritual touchstone for many. The beauty of the prophet lies in its ability to speak to your soul, urging you to explore the depths of your own humanity. It's a spiritual guidebook that encourages self-awareness, introspection, and a deeper understanding of life's profound mysteries. It's a book that doesn't just change your perspective, it can change your life. Book number nine, Eckhart Tolle's A New Earth. Much like Gibran's The Prophet, Eckhart Tolle's A New Earth offers another profound journey into self-discovery, but this time through the lens of a modern spiritual teacher. Tolle's work is a beacon of enlightenment, guiding you to uncover the depths of your consciousness and embrace the present moment. A New Earth asks you to challenge your ego the part of you that seeks validation and recognition. Tola argues that this sense of self is an illusion, a distraction from your true essence. As you delve into the book, you'll find yourself questioning the roles you've assumed, the labels you've adopted, and the narratives you've created. This can be a daunting process, but Tola's empathetic approach soothes your anxieties. He doesn't attempt to shatter your world instead, he gently nudges you towards a new perspective. The heart of Tala's philosophy is the power of the present moment. He believes that being fully present can liberate you from the shackles of your mind, bringing you peace and serenity. Many of us spend our lives dwelling on the past or fretting about the future, but Tall encourages you to let go of these attachments. He reassures you that the present moment is all that truly exists, and it's within this moment that you'll find your true self. In essence, a new earth serves as a mirror, reflecting back to you the profound truths you've always known but may have forgotten. It's a transformative journey, one that can reshape your perception of yourself and the world around you. Book number 10. Lessons from the Secret. Rhonda Burns' The Secret invites you on a transformative journey, revealing the power of positive thinking and the law of attraction in shaping your life's course. The premise is simple yet profound like attracts like. You attract what you think about most, be it good or bad. The secret urges you to visualize your goals and maintain a positive mental attitude. This, Byrne suggests, will create a magnetic force that attracts success, happiness, and prosperity into your life. It's a compelling notion, isn't it? Imagine being able to harness the power of your thoughts to create your reality. However, the book isn't just about wishful thinking. It emphasizes the importance of action. As you envision your dreams, you're encouraged to take steps towards them. It's a call to be proactive, to shape your destiny rather than being a passive observer. But the secret also serves as a reminder of our interconnectedness. Your thoughts, your feelings, they don't just impact you, but also those around you. When you radiate positivity, you inspire others to do the same creating a ripple effect that can change the world. In essence, the secret is a testament to the power of the mind and the force of positivity. It's a call to recognize the potential within, to believe in yourself, and to take control of your life. Remember, you're not just a spectator in this grand play of life, you're an active participant, and you have the power to shape your own destiny. Book number 11. A Course in Miracles The Breakdown Transitioning from the Secret Let's dive into another life-altering spiritual book, A Course in Miracles. Published in 1976, this self-study spiritual thought system teaches the way to love and forgiveness. You'll find its teachings aren't religious, but rather spiritual, focusing on self-love and forgiveness. The book is dense and can be challenging to grasp initially, but don't let that deter you. You're not alone in this journey. Many have confronted the same challenges and have come out enlightened and transformed. It's not a read in one sitting kind of book. It's a course meant to be studied, absorbed, and applied over time. A Course in Miracles consists of three parts the text, the workbook for students, and the manual for teachers. The text provides the theory, the workbook offers 365 lessons, one for each day of the year, and the manual gives answers to likely questions. It's a comprehensive guide to spiritual awakening. 
The core theme is the power of our thoughts and the idea that we're not victims of the world we see. We are instead the creators of our own reality. It's a challenging concept to accept, but once you do, it's transformative. In a nutshell, A Course in Miracles is a journey of self-discovery and self-transformation. It's not for everyone, but if you're searching for a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you, it's worth exploring. Remember, it's a journey, not a destination. As you venture into its pages, you'll find not just words but a new way of seeing and being in the world. Book number 12. Siddhartha by Hermann Hesse. Delving deeper into the realm of spiritual enlightenment, you'll find Siddhartha by Hermann Hesse, a compelling novel that might just change your perspective on life and self-discovery. The narrative follows Siddhartha, a man who embarks on a journey of self-realization that transcends conventional religious teachings. Siddhartha's spiritual odyssey isn't just a simple tale, it's an invitation to you, the reader, to confront your own understanding of life, meaning and purpose. It's about seeking wisdom from within, not just from external authorities or doctrines. You'll be invited to question, ponder, and evaluate your own beliefs and experiences. Hesse's writing is rich with symbolism that you might find thought-provoking. The river, for instance, symbolizes life's ever-changing nature and the concept that you can't step into the same river twice. Siddhartha's journey isn't linear but cyclical, reminding you that life is full of ups and downs, but each phase holds its own importance and lessons. The book might also challenge your ideas about happiness and fulfillment. Siddhartha discovers that the unending pursuit of desires leads to suffering, a lesson that could resonate in today's world of constant dissatisfaction and craving. He finds peace not in achieving or possessing, but in understanding and accepting life as it is. In Siddhartha, you're not just reading a book, you're embarking on a journey of introspection. Engaging with this narrative might give you new insights about your own spiritual path and the quest for self-understanding. It's an exploration of the human spirit that's as relevant today as it was when Hesse penned it. Book number 13. Conversations with God, Neil Donald Walsh. Shifting gears from Hesse's introspective journey in Siddhartha, let's now explore a different realm of spiritual literature with Conversations with God, a transformative book that might redefine your perception of the divine. This trio of books by Neil Donald Walsh offer a profound discussion that Walsh claims to be direct revelations from the divine. Imagine you're having a conversation with God and he's responding directly to your deepest questions about life, love, and the nature of the divine. That's the premise of Conversations with God. The book challenges conventional religious beliefs and encourages you to seek your own truth. The trilogy begins with Walsh, in a moment of despair, writing an angry letter to God, who then responds in kind, sparking a series of dialogues. It's not about accepting these conversations as literal divine messages, but about embracing the opportunity to question, to ponder, and to grow. The essence of conversations with God lies in its universal themes love, forgiveness, and the interconnectedness of all things. It's about recognizing the divine within you and understanding that you're an integral part of the cosmos, not separate or lesser. It's a compelling read that might leave you questioning your own beliefs and attitudes. You might find it discomforting, uplifting, or both. But isn't that the nature of transformative spiritual literature? It's not intended to provide comfort, but to provoke thought and inspire change. As you explore conversations with God, remember it's not about accepting everything at face value, but about nurturing your own spiritual journey. Book number 14. Jonathan Livingston Seagull by Richard Bach. Next on the journey, we encounter Jonathan Livingston Seagull, a timeless tale by Richard Bach that uses the metaphor of a seagull's life to explore profound spiritual themes. You're immediately swept up in the tale of Jonathan, a seagull whose passion for flying sets him apart from his flock. You may find yourself relating to Jonathan's struggle as he challenges societal norms, yearning for more than the mundane existence his peers have settled for. The book seamlessly weaves a narrative of personal enlightenment, 
using the metaphor of flight to symbolize spiritual ascension. Jonathan's journey mirrors our own search for deeper understanding and purpose, a quest that often leads us to question the accepted norms of society. You'll be prompted to question your own beliefs, your own limitations, and the possibilities that lie beyond what you've accepted as your reality. Perhaps the most touching aspect of this book is its portrayal of the transformative power of love and forgiveness. Through Jonathan's interaction with the elder Gul Chang, we're shown the potential for growth and change that comes from a place of love and acceptance. Box's Jonathan Livingston Seagull isn't just a book, it's a spiritual journey that urges you to explore your own potential, to question the status quo, and to brave the unknown. It's about understanding that true freedom isn't merely physical, but rooted in the spirit. This book may challenge your worldview and provoke introspection, but in doing so, it can open doors to a deeper understanding of your own spiritual journey. Book number 15. The Book of Awakening, Mark N. Nepo. Mark Nepo's The Book of Awakening is a tremendous tool for navigating the maze of your life with greater grace, understanding, and acceptance. It's more than just a book, it's a spiritual companion meticulously crafted to guide you on your journey towards inner peace and self-awareness. Each chapter in this book is akin to a spiritual consultation, offering intuitive wisdom, beautifully woven with relatable anecdotes. Nepo's writing style is empathetic, resonating with your inner struggles and triumphs. He doesn't just tell you what to feel or think, he invites you to delve deeper into your own consciousness and make sense of your own experiences. What's striking about the Book of Awakening is its universal appeal. No matter your religious convictions or lack thereof, you will find something to relate to. Nepo's insights aren't tied to any particular faith or dogma, but rather they're rooted in the shared human experience. His words gently remind you that you're not alone in your quest for meaning and purpose. The key takeaway from the Book of Awakening is the idea of being present. Nepo encourages you to embrace the now and experience life with all its ups and downs, its joys and pains. It's a call to awaken your spirit and to live fully and authentically. It's a book that prompts reflection and introspection, challenging you to be more mindful and attentive in your everyday life. Book number 16, The Tao of Pooh by Benjamin Hoff. In the midst of all the complications of life, Benjamin Hoff's The Tao of Pooh invites you to discover the profound wisdom concealed inside a seemingly simple children's story. Imagine finding a book that not only entertains you, but also gently unravels ancient Eastern philosophy using characters and narratives you've known since childhood. That's what Hoff accomplishes with this gem. The Tao of Pooh weaves Taoist principles into the narratives of Winnie the Pooh, revealing deep truths in a digestible way. Hoff demonstrates that Pooh, the uncarved block, epitomizes the Taoist concepts of simplicity and naturalness, showing you that enlightenment isn't about striving, but about being in the natural flow of life. You can't help but marvel at the way Hoff uses Pooh's interactions with his friends to illustrate Taoist wisdom. You see, each character represents a different life approach. While Rabbit's intelligence often leads him astray and Owl's wisdom can't solve simple problems, Pooh's simplicity and spontaneity allow him to navigate challenges with ease. These comparisons challenge you to consider your own approach to life. Reading the Tao of Pooh is an exercise in reflection and introspection. As you delve into the simplicity of Pooh's world, you're encouraged to shed unnecessary complexities and embrace a more natural way of being. Hoff doesn't just explain Taoism, he shows you how to live it. It's a spiritual book that changes not only your perspective, but also the way you live your life. It's no wonder it's a book that's changed my life, and it could change yours too. Book number 17. The Untethered Soul by Michael A. Singer. Shifting from the simplicity of Taoism in Hoff's work, you might find profound resonance in Michael A. Singer's The Untethered Soul, another transformative spiritual book, Singer's work invites you to delve deep into your consciousness, urging you to let go of painful, restrictive patterns holding you back from experiencing life's true essence. In The Untethered Soul, 
Singer proposes a revolutionary concept, you aren't your thoughts, you're the observer of your thoughts. This idea may seem abstract initially, but as you turn the pages, Singer's insightful writing style makes this complex concept comprehensible. He gently leads you towards self-liberation by urging you to take a step back, observe your thoughts and emotions, and resist letting them control you. Singer's work isn't just philosophical, it's practical too. He offers actionable methods for achieving inner peace, such as mindfulness and meditation. These practices help you quiet the incessant chatter of your mind, enabling you to experience the serenity of the present moment. However, Singer's teachings aren't about escaping reality or avoiding challenges. Instead, he encourages you to face these difficulties and welcome them as opportunities for growth and self-improvement. It's about embracing life with all its ups and downs and finding peace amidst chaos. The untethered soul is profound yet accessible, analytical yet empathetic. It doesn't just feed you wisdom, it guides you on how to unearth your own. So if you're looking for a spiritual book that's both nourishing and empowering, The Untethered Soul could be a game changer for you. Book number 18. The Road Less Traveled, M. Scott Peck. Journeying further into the realm of spiritual enlightenment, you'll encounter M. Scott Peck's The Road Less Traveled, a book that deftly explores the nature of love, growth, and spirituality. In this powerful and insightful work, Peck intertwines psychotherapy and spirituality, encouraging you to confront and examine the complexities of your life. Peck's central argument is that life is difficult, and it's through acknowledging this truth that we find liberation and spiritual growth. He doesn't sugarcoat the challenges you'll face. Instead, he helps you realize that it's through these struggles that you'll find spiritual maturity and a deeper understanding of yourself. The book is organized into four parts discipline, love, growth, and religion, and grace. Each of these sections digs deep into the essence of human existence, offering you a fresh perspective on your life's journey. In the discipline section, for example, Peck persuades you that through delaying gratification and accepting responsibility, you'll experience personal growth. The love section, on the other hand, shifts from the conventional understanding of love as a feeling to love as an action. Peck insists that love is a choice, and it requires effort and courage to sustain it. This perspective challenges you to reassess your notions of love and relationships. The road less traveled will likely stir your emotions and thoughts, forcing you to reflect on your life and your choices. It's a demanding read, but it's worth it. It's one of those books that doesn't just change your mind, it changes your life. Book number 19. The Art of Happiness by Dalai Lama. Often you'll find yourself reaching for The Art of Happiness by the Dalai Lama, a transformative book that invites you to explore the concept of happiness from a completely different perspective. This isn't a self-help book that gives you a step-by-step -step guide to attaining happiness. Instead, it challenges you to shift your paradigm about what happiness truly means and where it originates from. The Dalai Lama urges you to look inward, emphasizing that true happiness isn't dependent on external circumstances but comes from within. He posits that it's your perception and response to situations that dictate your emotional state, not the situations themselves. This is a profound truth that, once grasped, can dramatically alter your outlook on life. What's beautiful about the art of happiness is its universal appeal. The Dalai Lama, though a spiritual leader, doesn't force his Buddhist beliefs upon you. His teachings are enveloped in compassion and empathy, resonating with readers of varied beliefs. He skillfully intertwines spirituality and psychology, delivering insights that are emotionally impactful and intellectually stimulating. The book is rich with practical wisdom, offering robust yet simple strategies for fostering inner peace and happiness. It encourages you to cultivate compassion, patience, tolerance, and a positive mindset, all elements that contribute to a fulfilling life. The Art of Happiness isn't just a book, it's an enlightening journey of self-discovery and personal growth. It guides you to understand that happiness isn't something you pursue, it's something you create. This understanding can bring about a profound change in how you live your life, 
making this book a truly transformative read. Book number 20, You Can Heal Your Life, Louise Hay. Just as the art of happiness guides you towards inner peace, You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay equips you with the tools to transform your own health and well-being. This book doesn't just offer a roadmap to physical wellness, it also gives you the compass to navigate through your own emotional and spiritual journey. Through her teachings, Hay encourages you to introspect and uncover the root of your ailments. She holds a mirror to your life, helping you understand the power of your thoughts and feelings. You're not just learning about healing, you're understanding the profound connection between your mind and body. Hay's philosophy is simple. Negative thoughts breed illness, while positive thoughts cultivate health. It's an empowering concept that shifts the responsibility of your well-being onto you. You're not at the mercy of external factors, nor are you a passive sufferer. You're an active participant in your own healing process. As you delve deeper into Hay's teachings, you may find yourself confronting truths that you've been avoiding. It's a demanding process, but one that's filled with compassion and understanding. Hay doesn't just ask you to change, she equips you to do so. You can heal your life isn't a quick fix. It's a lifelong commitment to introspection, self-love, and positive thinking. Yet, it's a journey worth embarking on. As you turn the pages, you're not just reading a book, you're beginning a transformative process towards health and happiness. Book number 21. The Seat of the Soul, Gary Zukav. Looking into the Seat of the Soul by Gary Zukav, you're introduced to a profound exploration of human consciousness and spirituality. The book is an enlightening journey where Zukav challenges you to reassess your perception of the world, your relationships, and yourself. You'll find that he doesn't simply present ideas. Zukav invites you into an intricate dance of thought, encouraging you to delve deeper into your own psyche. Zukov's central theme hovers around the concept of aligning your personality with your soul. He argues that true personal power emerges from this alignment, rather than the pursuit of external achievements or validation. As you navigate through Zukov's compelling narrative, you're compelled to introspect and question the driving forces behind your actions and decisions. The book also introduces the concept of spiritual partnerships, relationships that foster mutual growth and spiritual development. Zukov explores how these partnerships can transform your interactions and connections, enriching your life in profound ways. The book encourages you to shift your focus from what you can get from relationships to what you can contribute, fostering a mindset of compassion and empathy. Zukov's The Seed of the Soul doesn't offer a quick fix solution or an easy route to enlightenment. Instead, it challenges you, prompting you to examine and reassess your life's purpose and direction. It's a journey that requires courage and introspection, but one that ultimately leads to a deeper understanding of yourself and the universe. Book number 22. The Power of Intention by Wayne Dyer. In the transformative book The Power of Intention by Wayne Dyer, you're invited to grasp the profound concept of harnessing your thoughts to shape your reality. Dyer presents intention not as something you do, but as an energy you're a part of. This book challenges you to reconsider how you've defined intention in the past and to realize the potential within you. Dyer asserts that you're not a solitary being, but rather connected to a universal source of energy. Your thoughts, feelings, and actions are manifestations of this energy. You're not controlling it, but you're an integral part of it. This perspective can shift your understanding and experience of life in significant ways. What's most compelling about Dyer's perspective is his assertion that intention isn't about being self-centered or manipulative. It's about aligning yourself with the universe's natural flow and becoming an active participant in creation. By tapping into this power, you're not forcing things to happen, but allowing them to unfold naturally. You may find yourself questioning how you've been living your life and considering the possibilities that could unfold if you lived in harmony with your intentions. Not only does Dyer provide you with a new way of thinking, but he also offers practical ways to apply these concepts in your daily life. Dyer's The Power of Intention is an invitation to a life of more purpose, 
authenticity, and abundance. It's more than a book, it's a tool for transformation. Embrace it and you'll begin to see the power of intention at work in your life. Book number 23. Many Lives, Many Masters, Brian Weiss. Shifting gears from the energy-focused teachings of Dyer, let's explore the intriguing realm of past lives and spiritual lessons in Brian Weiss's Many Lives, Many Masters. This book delves into uncharted territories, channeling the power of past life regressions to heal one's present. You're introduced to a world where time isn't linear and the past, present, and future coexist. Weiss's narrative is compelling, as he recounts his sessions with a patient named Catherine. You'll feel a sense of empathy as you discover Catherine's past lives, her fears, triumphs, and mistakes, and how they've shaped her current existence. You'll find yourself questioning the very nature of time, life, and death. Analyzing Weiss's approach, you'll notice a distinct shift from traditional psychiatry. The clinical is replaced with the metaphysical, and science takes a backseat to spirituality. Yet, it's this unconventional methodology that makes the book so transformative. It's not just about healing trauma, it's about understanding the soul's journey across lifetimes. You might initially struggle with the concept of reincarnation or the continuity of the soul. But Weiss's book encourages you to keep an open mind, to embrace the possibility that there's more to life than meets the eye. Many Lives, Many Masters offers a fresh perspective on life's challenges, urging you to see them as lessons rather than obstacles. Book number 24 Anatomy of the Spirit by Caroline Mias Turning the pages of Caroline Mias' Anatomy of the Spirit, you'll find a revolutionary approach to understanding your own spiritual anatomy and its impact on your physical well-being. This book doesn't just provide you with a fresh perspective on spirituality, it truly changes the way you understand your physiological and psychological health. In her distinctive style, Mai Sis beautifully amalgamates the ancient traditions of Hindu chakras, Christian sacraments, and Kabbalah's tree of life, forming a comprehensive map of the spiritual anatomy. You'll find yourself exploring the seven stages of power, each representing a different aspect of spiritual and physical health. The connection she draws between physical ailments and emotional or spiritual disruptions is eye-opening. But my sis doesn't stop at diagnosis. She offers a healing path, too. You're not just left to understand your spiritual self more deeply, you're also equipped with the tools to heal and harmonize your spirit. Her emphasis on personal power and self-responsibility might challenge you initially, but it's a vital part of the healing journey she lays out. Anatomy of the Spirit isn't a light read. It demands your full attention and introspection. However, it's a rewarding journey that can lead to profound self-discovery and healing. As you navigate through the pages, you'll find yourself reassessing your understanding of health, wellness, and spirituality. It's a book that doesn't just change your life, it empowers you to change it yourself. And that's a transformation that's hard to put a price on. In the end, your life's journey is like a unique tapestry. Each thread represents a book that has woven profound spiritual insights into your life. These books, each a beacon of wisdom and enlightenment, have the power to transform your perspective and nurture your soul. They serve as stepping stones, guiding you towards a path of inner peace and self-discovery. May these spiritual guidebooks inspire you, just as they've illuminated my path and help you unravel the miracles of life. Thanks for listening to or reading this from Audiobooks Office.